Okay, everyone, so I'm back, and I did my right eye, so we're going to do the look on the left eye. This is a really kind of dramatic blue look, so if you want to tone it down a little bit, you can definitely use a little bit of a lighter blue in any of the colors that I show you. Um, and you can maybe, I don't know, tone it down on the eyeliner, completely up to you. Um, I'm just going to tell you guys, the eyeshadow palette that I'm using today is a palette from Sephora that I got. It's called a Color Play Palette. And I got it, I don't know how long ago, it was a few months ago, and I've just started now really playing around with the colors. I have not gotten the Coastal Scents palette yet. I haven't been able to order them yet, so this is, I guess, like the next best thing for me. And I don't know if you guys can see all that. The last two rows on the left are lip glosses. And as you can see, I've played with them a lot. Um, on the bottom, there's three br blushes and then a bronzer, which I haven't really used much. But this is what I'm going to be using today. Um, but obviously, all these colors are pretty, I mean, they're fairly, fairly easy to find if you wanted to do them in matte colors or if you wanted to try and get in a, a kind of drugstore brand, drugstore brands have a lot of blues. So, first I'm going to start off by priming my eye with Max Paint Pop Paint in Painterly. You always want to prime your eye, obviously, because it's going to help your eyeshadow stay in place longer. Um, for me, I find it prevents fallout. It helps the eyeshadows be more vibrant, especially with this this palette, I noticed if that if you don't use a primer, um, the color payoff is not good at all. So you definitely have to use a primer if you have this palette. I'm not sure if you can still find this palette at Sephora. I know it was on Sephora.com for a while. I will go look and check after this video, and if you can still order it, I will put a link in the sidebar. Like I said, the color payoff is not great if you don't use a primer. Um, that's pretty much the only downfall. Um, but I think you're probably better off getting the Coastal Scents. I think it's like the 88 palette and the 120 palette. I know they have a matte palette, a shimmer palette, so completely up to you. If you want to look into this, I'll put the link in the sidebar if it's still available on the website. So I did my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Now I'm going to take just a regular eyeshadow brush that already has some color on it. So I'm just going to wipe that off a little bit. And I am going to take, ooh, there is this, where is it? This, I don't know if you guys can see that, if you can. It's a light, not a light shimmery blue color. It's kind of like a medium toned blue, and it's shimmery. This is a very shimmery look. So I hope that that's in the right place on the camera. Um, so I'm going to put that on my brush. Just tap off any excess. You want to make sure you tap off as much excess as you can with this palette anyway because there can be a lot of fallout. And, okay, I hope you guys can see. I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid. If it goes up into your crease a little bit, it's not a huge deal because our crease color is not too much different than this. And you will see why in a second. Pat that on. You don't have to be perfect with it. We are going to blend. Next, I'm going to take a crease brush. And this is just a crease brush from Sephora. It's very fluffy, which I don't know. I kind of like and I kind of don't. If you hear a noise in the background, that is my one hug princess scratching at a box. Princess, no. Sorry. Um, okay, so the next color I'm going to take is a deeper shimmery blue. I hope you guys can see that. If not, I'll put the colors in that I use in the sidebar. I don't even know if this is like in the right area for you guys to see. So, but it's a darker shimmery blue. I'm gonna put some of that on our crease crease brush. Princess, no. And we're just going to put that in our crease. Just 
and I tend to just put it in my crease, open my eye, and do windshield wind shield, shield wiper motions. I can't talk tonight. Just blend. I don't want any harsh lines or anything like that. I'm going to take it a little tiny bit higher than my crease, but not by too much. Next, I'm going to go back to my regular eyeshadow brush, and this color is by Bare Mineral, and the color name is Azure, Azure, I don't know, I'll put the name on the sidebar. Um, it is a loose pigment, so you want to be careful. Um, I'm going to try my best to show you guys the color. I know the coloring on this is horrible, guys, once I get my digital camera. It'll be better, but I'll try and put swaps at the end of the video. Again, if this is a two-part video, I'm sorry. I tend to always go over 10 minutes, so I'm going to try and work on that. But this is a very, very shimmery blue. It has a little bit of a really pretty green undertone. All I'm doing is taking what's on the cap. That's all you need. I'm going to pat that on my brush. And then tap off the excess again. You do not need a lot. This has more than enough on the lid. And like I said, this is a very shimmery blue, but it has a really pretty green undertone. And then I'm just going to pat that over the lid color. Princess, no. Sorry, guys, my dog doesn't listen. I'm just going to take a little tiny bit more and just pat it on again, just on the lid. Close that up. You do not want taking all over the place. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take, I don't know what kind of brush this would be. I don't know if it's supposed to be a lip brush, but it's just a really small, thin, angled brush. I think I got it from like Target or something because right now funds are pretty bad for me. And um, I just don't have the money to go and like buy expensive brushes. So these will work for now. And the color I'm going to take is just the shimmery gray color. The shimmery gray color. If you can, I hope you guys can see that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dip the tip into the gray. Tap off any excess. And I'm just going to put it on my inner tear duct area. If you want, you can drag some of that blue from our eyelid into there also. Just a tiny bit more. Then I'm going to take just a flat eyeshadow brush, again this is just from Sephora, and I'm going to just take that same gray color on my brush, and this is going to be my highlight color, and I'm just going to go up underneath my eyebrow. You can drag again some of that blue up a little bit, but not too much. And I'm actually just going to take that Azura color and I'm just going to put a little bit more.